Hello, solar enthusiasts. Have you guys been wondering which inverter to use on your upcoming solar project? If so, this is the video for you. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please click subscribe down below. And uh, if you just click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Solar panels get all the glory, but it's the inverters that do all the work. Central string inverters, let's say ones that came like before 2018, used to manage the conversion of DC voltage to AC voltage that you can use for your house. It did that for the whole entire solar panel system. That meant if one panel went down, the entire solar panel system will go down. Then, microinverters were developed uh, by a company out of Fremont, California, by a company called Enphase. These guys were working for a big company on central string inverters when they decided to leave their company and go out on their own and figure out a better way to, to uh, convert that DC energy uh, into AC. Nobody else is doing this, and it's really throwing the central string inverter guys for a loop because the new microinverter is coming with a 25-year warranty instead of the 10-year warranty when everybody knows they're going to have to change out their main central string inverter. The undeniably great thing about Enphase is their microinverters. They're double insulated, and they're small enough to be placed right at each individual panel. Now, each panel has their own inverter, and if one inverter goes down or if one panel goes down, now the rest of the system doesn't go down. All the other panels will continue producing clean energy for you. These microinverters are UL listed for voltage and frequency. Synchronization, disturbances, faults, and reconnects. This UL listing ensures that your solar system meets IEE 1547.1 standard, which specifies the type, production, and commissioning of these microinverters. To me, it's so interesting how a company like Enphase can change the entire composition of the solar energy industry. The old central string inverter companies are trying to play catch up now. The way they're trying to mimic what Enphase is doing is by placing a DC optimizer at each individual panel. So you still have this, you still have this main inverter that is still a central point of failure that can happen at any time. If your inverter goes down, your main inverter goes down, your entire solar system goes down. Uh, with Enphase microinverters, if a microinverter goes down, just the one panel goes down, the rest of your system keeps going. Even with these DC optimizers, uh, what I'm saying is they'll still be at all of your panels and if a little shading hits it then it'll mimic what uh, in-phase microinverters are doing by allowing the rest of the system to pr uh, produce energy for you. However, you still have that main inverter down there at 10 years, probably gonna have to change it out and um, I just don't, I mean DC, uh, op DC central inverters are trying to uh, match what uh, AC microinverters are doing but um, they still have a little bit of time before they're gonna catch up. And they had to. I mean, I was talking to my territory manager and he said that the, his three biggest companies all use microinverters. Nobody, they're not using the central string inverters anymore because they know that they're gonna to have to tell their customer, you're gonna to have to pay a big chunk of money to replace this inverter in 10 or 12 years. Um, that's the great thing about my, these in-phase microinverters is that they're coming with a 25 year warranty. DC inverters were dropped quickly as outdated technology. That's just how it goes. Fox Family installs in-phase microinverters, of course, because of their updated technology. They're the best technology for today's quality-driven customer. And the price comes out to about the same. The industry did a good job of pricing DC central string inverters and AC microinverters uh, relatively similar to each other. So um, it's not going to affect the price of your uh, solar system. We also use quick mount PV flashings and racking. I'll leave a link down below here, so if you want to go check out their website, um, you can. It's at Quick Mount PV. Both companies are engineered and designed their equipment right here in California, but those inverters are still made in China. Uh, and you're going to be hard pressed to find any inverter that's not made uh, overseas. There are no inverters that are made currently in the U.S. I'll have a video soon about Quick Mount PV flashings and how waterproof and just how excited we are to be installing the industry's most waterproof flashings. Okay, so that's the uh, straightforward stuff. Uh, just to geek out a little bit on the nerdy side, probably the most important thing that I like about the, the microinverters is that the maximum power point of each individual panel can now be achieved um, since the inverter is right at the panel. But with microinverters, so each panel is tracked and you can monitor it, monitor it on your phone with your Enlighten program. And I'll come out with a video soon about Enlighten and all the cool, cool features about uh, being able to monitor your 
uh, solar panels and uh, um, with microinverters, you're not just monitoring the whole system, but you can actually monitor each individual uh, panel, which is one more thing that's just more cool about microinverters. So of course, we've already talked about shading and how with microinverters, if, uh, if a leaf or something falls on that panel um, with a microinverter, um, yeah, maybe that panel gets uh, reduced in its uh, production, but the rest of the solar system still produces 100% of what it can right then at that point in the day. Central string inverters have the, the old-fashioned style where if a leaf or you know a, a branch or something were to fall on a panel, then, then that panel reduces its power to whatever it's, you know, whatever the shading is affecting it, and then the rest of the system has to match that output power. So you can see how you're really losing generation by using the standard central string inverters. With microinverters, the panels can be installed at different uh, angles and orientations, whereas with central string inverters, uh, everything has to be at the same tilt and orientation. Another good thing about running microinverters is that instead of running high voltage DC uh, circuits carrying 600 to 1000 volts across the uh, rooftop, uh, or through your attic. With microinverters, we're running AC circuits literally from the panel, because that's where it got converted. We're running AC across the roof or through the attic, uh, which is more commonplace for your house to have AC wires running through your uh, house instead of DC wires. And then one more last time, I'll just, I'll just uh, mention this about microinverters. The central string inverters, everybody knows that after 10 years, you're gonna have to change that out. So um, 10, 12 years, that inverter is probably gonna go out, and it's a big chunk of change to replace that. In-phase microinverters are coming with a 25 year warranty and if one were to go out, your whole solar panel system doesn't go down and to change the inverter is a relatively straightforward process. Um, it's a much less expensive part, but with the 25 year part warranty, hopefully us as your solar installer will have the opportunity to go out and take care of that warranty item. Go out, just get another uh, in-phase microinverter, come back and hook it up, very modular. If you'd like to see Fox Family in action, I'll leave a little card up above here and uh, maybe you can check out one of our solar installs. If this is your first time visiting Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar, please click subscribe down below and share this video with someone who may be interested in getting a solar system soon. I'm really interested to know uh, what kind of setup you guys have at your home. If anybody of you guys are using in-phase microinverters, please leave a comment down below um, to support this video and let everybody know that um, these inverters are the way to go instead of the old standard um, central string inverters. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching uh, Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar, and uh, we really hope we get a chance to work on one of you guys' homes soon. Um, we won't let you down for sure. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video. If this is your first time, vi if this is if this is your first time visiting Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar, please click please click subscribe down below. <laughs> God, it's so hard to say that word. <clears throat> if this is your first time visiting Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar, please click subscribe down below. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.